2,000 man bracket in a day. Like, <laughs> Evo, we, we take time to do this, to run it over the course of three days. To GG, hold my beer. Yeah. Yeah. I swear to God, 2GG can run like like a 2,000-man bracket with doubles and squad or so, and I'll finish it all in a day. If they want to. Yeah. Yeah, they would definitely have to be like, everyone, ha everyone has these pools then, 6 o'clock, he's top 8, I don't care what happens. Right. <laughs> no, 2GG is so good, they're bringing 2GG to other countries and states. Yeah, just trying to expand, make sure to bring the spotlight to other people. All right. But winner's quarters, we're going to get in Kamehameha versus Wrath. Joker versus Mega Man. I really like that. Uh, I like that. Uh, what's his name? Kamehameha is still playing Mega Man. Such a really good character right. in this game. He's better than he was in Smash 4, and he just his tools are just so annoying to deal with, right. and it, they do so much damage. I mean, Leaf Shield is an actual usable move now. You know, all of his moves are kind of just like poke, 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 poke. It's that poke, and you're like, what am I doing at 70%? I swear we just started. Yep. Yet again, Joker proving that like he has insane damage output too. You know, uh, Mega Man being at 53%. percent mm Mhm. He gets that up air, tried to go for the de uh, back air. All right. You know, I feel like Joker is not going to be able to go for that gun down air because he's just going to get an up air for it in his face. True. I don't, yeah, it's not going to really cancel out the up air. I, I think the up air is transcendent because yeah. it's a tornado. Yeah. Like, that would make sense to me, but. Right. It definitely, it's a projectile, so, like. Yeah. yeah. Back air actually on the neutral get up, not going to kill him. Ooh. All goes to the F smash. I think a down smash would have been the right option yeah. just because it hits below ledge. Yeah, that's the other thing that really helps out Mega Man in this game is that he can up B and an air dodge too, so his recovery is a lot better in this game as well. Yeah, those characters with like those up Bs, like Sonic and Mega Man, like you can up B, jump, and then directional air dodge. It just help the recovery just a little bit more. Right. And Snake. Who tries to read the neutral get up with the back air, not going to kill just yet. Dealing with Mega, Mega Man on the ledge is such a force to be reckoned with. You have that leaf shield, which will eat so many things. Just that, uh, that first charge S smash will do so much and cover so many options, then just throw out the pellets. It can just feel like such a nuisance to deal with. Right. And if he conditions you in shield enough, all of a sudden you're getting grabbed, and then you're getting grabbed like four throw. Mm -hmm. No, the real the real big threat is when he lands, and he's like, oh, I'm going to try punish him, and he lands with leaf shield, and all of a sudden you eat like a good 40% because of that. So Persona coming out. Let's see if he's going to be able to take this stuff. That I'm, was I'm, a miss input right there. I'm, yeah, I'm going to say that wasn't the read he wanted to go for. Goes to the short hop, goes, tries to get the F-Smash, but not going to hit. All right. You know what's really stupid with Joker is when you go for that F-Smash, spot dodge, F-Smash to break the shield. Uh, I haven't seen that, but I understand that that would be something that would happen. Yeah. Can, oh, he knew the air dodge was coming out, but I think he got a little scared just because Arsene left him. Don't worry, he'll be back. They always come back. Yeah. Wow, he's just, Wrath is not really able to take out this first dock, and you see the way that Kamehameha is playing. He's able to just weave in and out and throw out these projectiles so you can't really just get that clear opening. All right. 208%. Man, this robot is heavy. Down throw, I believe. Yep. Barely. Looks like that barely killed, too. I would have been very upset if it didn't. Yep. I mean, Mega Man being, like, one of the heavier characters in the game, you know, and Joker kind of only having a kill throw at that super high percent, you know, struggles to kill. And oh, that, yeah, that Metal Blade into the up tilt, such a potent combo. Mega Man is able to just throw that, that Metal Blade forward, run up, up tilt, just because of the mechanics of ultimate. Right, you can do anything out of a dash, basically. Mm -hmm. No longer do I just have to run up and back air or something else. All right. Which is still really good. So, one stock on Wrath. He's not really able to get these openings. 61% on Kamehameha, two stocks still. Oh, I like that. He he did a forward air and to kind of like bait out the approach option and quick out uh back air just to do yeah he, he did ja drag down back air turn around jab and i don't know if that was true and if it was that's really cool but i, I don't know if it was true if it was just like he caught wrath not really pressing a button because he was a little bit conditioned damage is slowly racking up on wrath that leaf shield does a little bit more damage than you wanted to do 69 percent on wrath another leaf shield just going to be you know boxing him out All right that was a quick 15 percent right there too mm-hmm I love the way that Kamehameha was playing right there. He saw Arsene was out. He's like, all right, let me just throw out the leaf shield, just condition him, make sure I can just waste out this Arsene as much as possible. Ooh, you saw him trying to go for that back air to just finish the game right then and there. Mm -hmm. But gets the back, gets the fourth throw, trying to get the back air off stage, but not going to be able to quite find it. And now they're reset back to neutral. 
Yeah, Wrath really not being able to get these edge guards on Kamehameha that he need, he's been needing to. And I think definitely the best time to do it is when you have Arsene, when you have these meaty hitboxes. I think when you just have regular Joker, it's a little dis, uh, difficult. All right. And that ledge trump back, you're going to take that two stock 140%. Kamehameha looking really good that game. You saw the way he was like weaving in and out of playing aggressive, curling back, I need to go back. He just looked like he had Joker down in the bag. And to be fair, he does have Sue, who plays Joker, so he has that warm-up practice. And there's not too many Mega Mans out there. Yep. I mean, yeah, like, I feel like the only other Mega Man player was... Uh, Yeti. Yeti, yeah. I know there are a couple other... Plup, Plup when he plays Mega Man. True. Yeah, I think he's favoring Mega Man a little more just because he's not having as much fun with Greninja. All right. It's a little Metal Blade fair. Oh, just barely Ooh. missing these back airs. Yeah, I feel like both of them, he managed to just uh, neutral air dodge through them. Yeah, swipe, swipe, just barely not working. And just get the gentleman's off of him. And yet again, Wrath is just kind of like struggling to like find his way in through this field of projectiles. Mm -hmm. oh, he just gets the jump guns. Wrath, I really feel like he needs to find a better way of opening up towards Kamehameha. All right. Because he knows that for every hit that uh, Kamehameha gets, you know, Wrath has to put in twice as much damage without Arsene in mm -hmm. order to get the kill. Mm -hmm. Gets grabbed, but Arsene's finally... Yeah, there we go. I was going to yeah. say Arsene's out, but I almost look like a liar there. Yeah. It really just looks like Kamehameha's calling out Wrath at every point uh, in the match. He just knows, all right, I've conditioned you where you're going to want to try to jump away, so I'll give you a quick nair. Right. I know you're going to be on the ground, so I'll just do a little jab and some F tilts, throw out some metal blades. Back reading through all the, pe the lemons, though. Right. And then reading that double jump off of the up B to get that back air. And that's what Wrath really needs in the matchup is to uh, edge guard him and get that double jump read out. Definitely. And uh, we finally see Wrath here with the first lead we've seen him have this set. Let's see how he plays with it. If he's able to play a lot better from the lead than he was from behind. But not actually getting any damage in. The DI did not look very good on there. Ooh. You could tell he was... Holding away, didn't want to get hit, but ugh, the DI was definitely ugly. Yeah. Yet again, tried going for a Metal Blade combo, but not going to be able to find it. But manages to sneak in a couple of hits with the Leaf Shield. Yep, throws Ooh. in the Leaf Shield again. That's a lot of damage right there. Gets the grab. Oh my god, just the shield just slowly going down. Gets the up tilt, finally gets conversion. Up tilt back here did so much damage. Oh, he got the reset there too, but I think maybe just didn't realize it. Yeah. Or maybe I, he was out of position. Well, he got like the tipper of jabs, so I don't think he could have gotten anything, so he's like, let me see if I can get this read. Right. I mean, because uh, job locks in this game aren't as good as they were in previous games. Like, if you're not next to your opponent, you're not getting anything off of it. Yeah, when you get jab locks now, you only really have, like, a 20-frame window to get something. So you don't have it, like, in, you know, Smash 4 and Brawl, where you just you get the neutral get-up, you get this full setup, which I think is very good, just because a lot of people had such scary jab lock setups. All right. It's more like, hey, like, okay, I caught you not teching. Let me punish you real quick. Fourth smash, you know. That's mm -hmm. kind of feel like what the designers had intended for, for jab locks. They should be like, okay, a quick fourth smash, and that's just all you should be able to get. Not like, let me combo you with this insane six setup that takes a while. Yeah, they definitely got rid of, like, jab lock and footstool combos just because of, like, what they did in Smash 4 because everyone had that footstool se setup right. with jab locks that you can do. But enough about that. Kamehameha actually taking back this lead. Really just not being, we're not seeing uh, Wrath take out these stocks. Gets that F-Smash. You know what proved me wrong? Right. I mean, Wrath is taking this to last stock, which is better than what he did in the previous game. So. Yeah, last stock ended with a, uh, a high percent two stock, but a two stock indeed. But again, Arsene's almost on deck. So if he can just clean out or a little bit more percent, maybe like 15 30%, you know, like he can get a clean back air off stage and potentially get the kill. It was really interesting seeing the... Uh, the fact that Kamehameha was throwing out a lot of pellets and then just nickel and diming Wrath, but you saw that that filled up his Arsene gauge, or yeah, his Rebels Guard gauge really fast, so I'm not sure if that was really the right play, and he's already got Arsene out 48%, but... I mean, as long as he's not blocking those pellets with a uh, Rebels Guard, then, like, that's damage. True. You know? All right, now gets that saw blade into the grab. You could just think another saw blade forward, and he's going to be able to get that up tilt and close this out. Right. Ooh. Like I said it, just throw it down, gets that up to a clean 2-0 from Kamebe. But Wrath did have that better second game. He was able to get a couple more stocks, make it a little closer.